Years ago with no expectations, I decided to post a single video on YouTube sharing my passion for watches. This journey has been surreal, having now been on camera thousands of times and traveling the world to create videos about all elements of watchmaking. Along the way, we have been fortunate enough to earn the business of more than 30,000 clients while representing over 40 leading watch brands. But there was one thing missing in creating the community and experience that I always dreamed of. This is the journey of opening a luxury watch boutique. All right, everybody, here's our boutique. Well, kind of. So we're right in the initial stage of getting access to this space. So long, year long, honestly, negotiation, talks through just getting the right square footage and getting everything laid out. Here are the bare bones of our boutique. So we have construction slated for the next month. Uh, still a lot of things up in the air, a lot of small details to smooth over. Uh, but this is the space, so not much to look at now, but just to give you a lay of the land. So we'll have on each one of these back walls, different brands, a couple different you know, shopping areas, a desk, bunch of back wall library type of bookshelf. So it's gonna be a blast and it's gonna be a lot to take in. Right now, hard to imagine it, but we're looking forward to seeing what actually happens as we put all this together. Miranda, what stage are we at right now, and then what do we need to have completed in order for those shopping shops to be put into place? So we're about 30% of the way through construction right now, um, but the next 70% is gonna go very fast. Uh, we've done all the hard things so far. So we've got all the plumbing electrical in place, we've got the, uh, the, the floor outlets in place, uh, walls have been framed, we start framing the ceilings tomorrow. This is gonna be about a week's worth of time getting all the lighting in, the duct work in. Um, we'll get the sheetrock up uh, from that standpoint. Once you get the sheetrock up, things really move fast because we'll paint the whole space, come in, put the floor, and we're ready for the shop and shops. Shop and shop. Can you explain what that means? Sure. So a shop and a shop means that we're actually giving little stores inside your space to each one of the brands. And what we do is we work with each one of those brands with their designers to get to a solution that fits within the spaces I had mentioned earlier. From there, we move to working with the, the millwork companies that make all of the cases. So we make we review everything that they do, make sure that it's going to fit, make sure that it's, because it's all done offsite, it's all assembled offsite, put together. They then take it apart. We have the store ready to go. Everything is in the store, everything is finished. And then they bring their millwork pieces in and they recess them in the walls. So they're creating their shop within your store by bringing their millwork in and, and putting it into the wall. We first communicated almost two years ago, it feels like at this point. Uh -huh. So it goes to give an idea of how long this process has been. Once we finally got the design, the floor layout locked in, could you give us an idea of also this process as we're starting to get into construction, mm -hmm. what is involved there? What is the timetable? Sure, so basically after we got all the brands locked in, um, then I felt confident moving forward with all of the drawings, getting the construction drawings done, getting them submitted to the city. So it took us about two months to get the construction drawings done, which included the mechanical, electrical, plumbing, um, and all of the architectural and interior design work. So now we're basically looking at a two-month schedule to be able to build out this space, which is actually a fantastic pace for the project. <laughs> All right guys, 30 days out from the store. I have a checklist of things, a lot to go over. First, Nicole, POS system. I know we've been going back and forth on this for a while. It's basically good to go. Um, we have one ticket open with Shopify to adjust our shop pay uh, settings. Everything else, we've done some test transactions, all of the handhelds, the scanners, those are all programmed and De ready to go. Devices are all good, yep. figured all that out. Okay, great. Also, millwork, primarily Omega and Breitling, because we also have to consider the brick and the carpet for them. Anything on that front? Those have both been installed. Um, I will go through with a fine tooth comb, make sure that they're up to our standards, uh, but they're in, they're good to go, and they look great. 
Devin, so sign. Now that was something we were going back and forth with the contractor. Are they all up to speed on install date and getting that up and running? Yep, yeah, they're doing the final install coming up tomorrow and then a final walkthrough on the electrical to make sure everything's operational by the weekend. When, uh, can, when you get all that done, could you just like send some pictures for like, because I want to see it at night too. Could you yeah. make sure we check it both in the day? He's probably gonna do the install during the day, but could you go back at night and just get some pictures so everybody can see it? Yeah, of course, we have a photo shoot for it kind of coming up after that as well. Okay, great. And once we get to probably the final week, let's maybe have like daily check-ins. I think that would be probably that good sounds, on site. That sounds like a good idea, an in-store meeting. Okay. So this is it, guys. This is final stretch. Let's make it happen, all right? Okay. Let's do it. My name is John Callahan and I am the retail store director for Teddy Baltzar at Crocker Park and a uh, very exciting time getting the store ready a week away. A uh, lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts, but we've got this beautiful store ready to go. Um, looks wonderful. It's going to be an awesome space. Yeah, the last 30 days has been a real rush. I mean, we had a lot going on. Shop to shops came in, working with the construction teams, working with the brands, brands coming into merchandise. Um, it's been a, a real whirlwind. We've had uh, a lot of things to really sort of tighten up here at the end. Uh, I've run two stores uh, in my career here in Cleveland. Uh, early part of my career on the east side. And now this store, which is going to be phenomenal. Uh, and I had a, a second east side store and I've been running stores since 2008. So this is a really awesome opportunity. I've done this literally my entire professional life some way or another. Uh, started in high school and very excited to continue on uh, with the Teddy Boutique. Can't wait. Seven days from now, long time coming. Ownership's put a lot of work into this. The team here is behind the scenes getting things ready to go. Uh, can't wait to get started seven days from now. Here we are, finally in the boutique. This has been years in the making, months of construction, and it's finally done. It's a relief, but it's also so surreal to just take this all in. You saw the drawings, saw an empty room, but to see these shop and shops in space and just see them all lit up, it just is unbelievable. I want to now give you a tour of the space and also introduce you to a couple of people who are going to be running this store if you ever do stop in. So to start us off here, front of house, front left, Grand Seiko. This was a brand that for me, it was so important to have in a space like this. Grand Seiko represents so much of what I love about watchmaking. You look at a lot of brands, and you'll start maybe from the outside looking in. For Grand Seiko, you look inside first. This is a brand that's all about their movements, their technology, Japanese craftsmanship. Like This is honestly what this nation has to offer, the highest tier when it comes to their watchmaking. I love the way that these dials are finished. I love the case finishing. The movements are something that I can just nerd out over over and over again. And there's just something to learn always with this brand. It keeps me on my toes to always just try to figure out what's next and uh, just trying to educate myself further and further. It's a brand I love and is so dear to my heart. And as a collector of the brand, so happy to have them here. Right across from Grand Seiko, Breitling. Before we even talk about watches, this back wall display, when you walk in, you see these bricks. And yes, we were holding about 200, hundreds of bricks just in our warehouse until this day, but you just see it, it looks beautiful. Breitling is a brand, when you look at under $10,000, the amount of icons that this brand has is remarkable. Chronomat, Super Ocean, Navitimer, so many watches to get lost in. And I also think this, the direction this brand is going is so much on the incline. The designs, they're nailing it. They have this history to lean on. And it's a great just draw for someone that's looking for a great watch under $10,000. Breitling is a staple. Moving a little farther back. So we've had Switzerland, Japan, now Germany, I would say these are the three nations I think of most when talking about watchmaking, not to say they're the only ones, but these are, I would say, the triangle, the trinity of great watchmaking. And in Glasuta, this is the mecca of watchmaking in Germany. And one that you would have to consider when thinking about Glasuta, Glasuta Rigenau. This brand I have gained so much respect for. The value for money that you're getting with this brand, remarkable. 95% produced in the region that they are in. And just getting into watches, Germany and just the designs that came from that nation certainly spoke to me. And that was part of my journey getting into it in the first place. So to have a brand like this in the store, crucial. 
And before we get to the back of the store, one other area that I wanna highlight is this area known as our Teddy Space. What this is, is an extension of teddybaldasar.com. This will allow us to showcase many of the brands that we have on our site. If you ever have interest in seeing a watch that we have on our site in person, just reach out to us beforehand. We'll pull everything from our warehouse that you wanna take a closer look at in person, and you can try it on in this dedicated area. And finally, in the back of the store, we have Omega. Omega as a brand is, you try to think about crafting a store like this. You identify brands that can represent a part of what you're all about. And Omega to me just goes in tandem with my own just core values. It's an aspirational brand. It's a brand that it's not too pompous. It's, it's a brand that also it's luxurious. It's also one that doesn't forget why it is now this icon that it is. It's a brand still focused on chronometry and this pursuit of excellence. And that's Omega in a nutshell. This back of house is beautiful. You see the chandelier, keep your head down if you're back there, but you know, they have a nice couch you can lounge in. Uh, displays really for every collection that you can find. Great place to chill and relax. That's what we wanted to do is create an environment for this brand, but in addition to that, create an environment for the store and setting a tone. Also, we have a couple gentlemen here that's gonna be helping us out. So John and Will. John, you'll be leading this store. Great to have you here. You've Very been on the member of the team for years now, but we've been talking about this for a long time, haven't we? We have been, yeah. In fact, our first conversation was about retail, and it's very exciting to see it all come together. What are you most excited about? We've been well, talking about this. I mean, we've had late night calls. We've been talking about this <laughs> yeah. for a long time. Like, I mean, it's we finally have. here. Well, I'm, I'm, one, excited for you because I think this Thank is an you. awesome opportunity. Two, it's the first and true and only dedicated watch store in the market. So for watch lovers, I think that that's the most important thing is that you can come here and you're just going to have this incredible opportunity to see incredible brands and really get to enjoy your company with uh, watch related guys that really enjoy it as well. When I get on camera every single time, I try to take the approach of talking about something I like, yeah. right? And lay back, chill, like you're having a conversation. That's what we really hope to do yeah. in this store. Mm -hmm. Another thing, John, as well, is like, you know, this market, we're here in Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. I mean, we're all born and raised here, yep. and, you know, and it, a lot of people are probably watching like, well, why Cleveland? I mean, we see it as this very underestimated market, but I think also we know a lot of collectors here. Mm -hmm. This is a place that's also near and dear to our hearts too. Mm -hmm. And you know this market very well, like you've learned a lot about it too. So I mean, for people that can find us, I mean, this is a place that's pretty easy to navigate to and uh, you know, come in this great center as well in Crocker Park. That's right, Crocker Park's beautiful shopping complex out here in Westlake um, and uh, also what we offer the entire market is exclusive opportunities to see Glessington Original, sure. and we also have Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko. So yes. you can't see these anywhere else. Um, but then we obviously have Omega and these legacy brands also included Breitling. So to be here in Cleveland, awesome opportunity, awesome opportunity. An another important point about this store is even though you're not gonna be here all the time, you will pop in. Uh, you know, we're gonna do this in your image. It's gonna be welcoming, it's gonna be inviting. We're gonna have people feel comfortable when they're in here. So you'll get to work with me, you'll get to work with Will, we have other people on staff who are gonna you know, bring people in, make them feel comfortable and really enjoy the experience while they're here. And that's why you guys are in this role. Will was employee number one, John's been with us for years and we've been grinding this thing up. So it's right. surreal to you know, be in here now, right? That's right, it's, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah, it's exciting yeah. guys, yeah. let's make it happen. Yeah. So there you have it guys, that is the boutique. And I just wanna say, I know this is not the most straightforward video that we've done, the conventional video that we do on this channel, but I'm very proud of this moment, if I could just be honest with you. And I also just wanna thank all of you. I know that's a cliche thing to say, I don't wanna be a broken record, but if I'm gonna be a broken record about something, I'd rather be about gratitude. So thank you all so much for, regardless, whether you're watching a video, you've been able to purchase a watch from us, it all means a ton to me. I was just a guy who just decided to post a video one day. So to be in a store like this that is, has my name on the outside, it's nuts. So thank you all very much. And I hope to see you all very soon. Times and places are all in who you share them with. And it's life. And the point is enjoy. Share it with